Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy V. We are in Istory Falls, trying to find the last of the four tablets to uh, unseal all of the weapons. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, some of the new enemies that we've uh, been encountering here. Okay, so we've got the uh, Mercury Bat. Uh, only 500 hit points, really easy, it looks like. Uh, immune to Earth, weak to nothing, absorbs nothing, immune to nothing, type nothing. Uh, Coral. 2150 hit points. Iron Draft, Potion, nothing. Weak against Lightning, absorbs poison and water. Okay. Aqua Gel. 3300 hit points, drops Speed Shake. Steel, high potion, potion. Weak against lightning, absorbs water, immune to all those things. And the Tonberry, 39,393 hit points. Wow. Uh, you can steal an elixir or a plumed hat. They drop mirage vests. Immune to nothing, weak against nothing, absorbs nothing. Immune to mini toad, petrify, and death. So not slow. So that's interesting. Not immune to poison either. Uh, confuse, paralyze, and sleep could all work. So, yeah, if we encounter another one, we might try some of those. Oh, all right. So that's it. But we did kill a Tonberry, and that's good. Okay, let's uh, continue on through this windy pathway. Hi, Tonberry! Didn't work. Uh, let's see. So he's not immune to Paralyze. Deathclaw didn't work. Let's try to sleep. Nope. Okay, um... What else? Mind Blast? Okay, Mind is being drained. That, uh, I think that did paralyze him for a bit. And he is slowly losing hit points, so that's not bad. him. Start working on the uh, good damage output. So Mind Blast is probably the best thing to go with uh, to start. And he's no longer paralyzed. Got a critical hit there. That's nice. I should probably Hestega my guys, too. I wonder if the closer they are to you, the uh, less damage they take or something. 15 ability points. Always nice. I need to start draining some stuff. Um, let's take a quick look at... Not status config. Humanoid, nothing, nothing. Okay, they're not, they're not undead. Good. I can start osmosing some of them. Obtain the phoenix down. 
That's not bad. You couldn't have hit the back one. Well, I guess we'll just kill him. All gained a level, Shiraha Dory. I should probably try to keep some of these alive. Let's go to Osmos you please. Thank you. Mm, high potion. And a reflect ring. Not bad in and of itself. You spore me. Ew. How did you miss? disappointed that you missed. Alright, Lena, take him out. Thank you. Alright, let's take care of that poison. Uh, I guess Lena's okay on MP. Oh, well, save point. I guess we'll uh, deploy a, a tactical cottage. Continue on down this way. Some uh, darkness. I don't know why we've got the globe of light around us here. It seems kind of odd, but okay. Uh, oh! I guess partly because there's traps, and the game is rude that way. Um, well, we got some treasures around here, so let's grab them. A Fuma Shuriken. Ow! obtained an Aegis Shield. How much damage did we take from that? Quite a bit. I'll wait until the next battle. Ah, okay. I guess I got a little bit lucky there. Steel Fists. Rapid Fire you. At least we know where we can go to get some uh, Steel Fists again. Good. Didn't kill. Go ahead and Stega first, real, real fast. Uh, and good. Now we can get a uh, Kiraga. Heal everyone up. Ah, so much better. You wanna die? Nope. Alright. We'll go with uh bio. Decent damage. Nice. Good critical. And let's rapid fire this guy to death. Seven ability points. Let's just do that. So we could fall down, it looks like. A single aqua gel, huh? Well, that seems silly. Oh, 
I think those holes are progress. Ooh, Titan's Axe, but I don't think we actually want to go that way yet. Let's go here. And get the Artemis Bow. How is that going to stack up against the Oichi's Bow? It is actually better. Uh, bow effective against uh, Magic Beast's strength and agility does go down, though. I think I'll take that. See how that goes. Okay. Uh, other places to go. We got over here. 12,000 gil. I didn't trust the uh, going to the side. The uh, obvious sides. Rapid fire. They, uh, they get healed by that, so let's go with Thundaga. Just eliminate them. Ferris gained a level. Ah, dang it, game. Why you gotta be rude that way? Okay, go to the side. There we go. I could take safe step and that would help, but eh, whatever. Obtained Enhancer. I do not know what Enhancer is. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Saber that increases magical power. Can be used two-handed, can be used with Spellblade. that? No, you can't. Alright, well, uh, we will check it out later. But if it enhances magical power, it might be useful with the Spellblade. We'll just drop down here. Now that we've gotten all the spell, all the, uh, not spells, items. Trigger that. And let's fall down. Ha! Sneaky game. Alright. Um, we're probably going to have another boss to fight. Now, I think I've got some items that might be useful. Let's go down, take a look, see what we got. Alright. Uh, coral ring again. Fused with the power of water. I only have one. But that's probably still going to be good. Let's go ahead and equip that on Ald. Actually, let's uh, equip it on Ferris, so I don't need to worry about her. So that should mean that I will uh, absorb water. What goodies do we get? The fourth tablet! Is there anything written on it? No, apparently not. I guess there's no uh, guardian either. That tablet, you'll hand it over to me. What? N no. Once Lord Exdeath gains the power of the void, he'll create a world for us monsters. I won't let you interfere! What? Oh. Hi! Oh, poopy. Oh, poopy. The beast was destroyed by Leviathan! Well, thanks, Leviathan! Um, we're just gonna leave now? Can I talk to you? The power of my water is strong enough to wash away all sins and make all things pure but only to those with the ability to fight the void while I award this power. Uh, will I award this power? Okay. 
Hi! We've uh, encountered you a few times. Ouch! Ouch! That was painful. Entangle? Thanks. Let's go with the Hestega. Let's go with Mighty Guard before he uh, unleashes water upon us. Rapid fire. Ow. I've got a heal of Kryl. Trying to entangle again. It's Thundaga. Oh, ho, ho, wow. Just Kraga, everyone. Tidal Wave? No! I like the Tidal Wave in Final Fantasy IV so much better as well. I just feel like a lot of the, the spell effects and things like that were better in Final Fantasy IV. Monsters seem to be a bit more alive as well. Go figure. Actually, maybe the other bow would be better uh, because of the... I, I swear it had a high crit chance. Might be something to keep in mind. Uh, so he's got 40,000 hit points. Uh, I mean, we've definitely whittled a lot of that off. Like I said, 20 ability points. Got a Reflect Ring. I have a lot of them. You could steal an elixir from him. Receive the Summoned Monster Leviathan. Yay, now we can actually cast Leviathan. Alright. Let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Okay, I can't teleport out. Maybe I can once I go up a level. Whee! Oh. No, that just takes us out. Okay. I'm good with that. Hi, Desert Killers. <laughs> Pretty sure you are really old. Like, really far back. One ability point, yeah. Seriously? Sand bear? Bad move, sand bear. Got back one of my many antidotes that I used. Well, guess what? We have a way to uh, fix that. Your image cannot stand before the meteors! Bye-bye! Alright, down into the sub we go. And we are going to rest up a bit. Ah, oh. feels good. Alrighty. Nope, let's not do that. Let's go this way. Okay, we've got another tablet, so let's go get some more uh, items. Oh, seriously? 
fine, shadows and triffids. I'll kill you all. I guess you can do that. And then die. Yeah, out of my way, people. I have important things to accomplish here. Hi, ex oh, shield dragon. Oh, oh my. Um then rapid fire. Well, we can Meteor. Not for much damage, though. Stupid high magic defense. Oh wow, you can only reflect one person at a time. Alrighty. Crits is nice. Actually, let's try this. Bounce the flare. Not sure how much damage this will actually uh, end up doing. That's eh, not bad. Bounce the holy. It's a lot better than anything else. And you flee. I'll take the five ability points. If I could control him, then I'd be able to kill him, but... I don't really care to do that right now. Okay, let's go get the fire lash. Break the seal? Yes! Yay, weapon that I'll probably never use. One of the 12 legendary weapons, Apollo's Harp. Break the seal, yes. Yay, weapon that I'll probably never use. I mean, I, I actually probably will use them while I'm leveling up some more of those characters, but... One of the 12 legendary weapons, Gaia Bell. Yay, weapon that I'll probably never use. It is an Earth-based weapon, though, which isn't bad in and of itself. Okay. We've gotten all of the sealed weapons. And now we can get out of here. Let's go! Alright, made it through without any encounters. Uh, what? I heard there was an earthquake down south. We can only hope that no one was hurt. No one knows the cause of the earthquake. I wonder if some underground volcano erupted. If only we had a submarine, we could go take a look, but... Yes, if, if only. If only we had a submarine. Oh god, you're walking on me! Been meaning to do that for a little while. Okay, so down south. Go down south. Uh, well, that is interesting. There's a new rift, and it's glowing bluish white. What? Oh god! We're all gonna die! Guess some incredible force is coming up from the seafloor!
Oh god, it's Cthulhu! It's like time and space are being twisted. It's sucking us in. No. Oh, God. Oh, my head. You finally arrived. Huh? Come on, let's check it out. What the heck was that all about? Hello? What do we got? <coughs> the door slams shut! Oh no, trap doors! Oh, hello! Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Oracle! A mages? Oh, oh no, no, no! We can do uh, databasing! Yay! Yay. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Gladiator! Ah, I've seen the movie. It's not all that great. Resting within the shard, a warrior spirit. Cannoneer. I heard a door open. What? Okay. What? What? A shopkeeper? Hey, I'm a traveling merchant. Ever searching the world for rare and wonderful items. How did you get down here? Oh, I have a submarine. How do you have a submarine? Oh, well, you know, I bought one at, at the U at Al's used submarine mart. It wasn't too expensive. It leaks a little bit. Recently, my ship was caught in a big storm and I washed up here. On the bright side, a mysterious cavern under the sea is just bound to be full of great loot, or so I figured. Yeah, I, I got it already. Hmm? Oh, you kids have got those crystal fragments, eh? That's the rarest of the rare. Oh, and it seems you don't even understand what powers are hidden inside those shards, huh? Uh, I, I mean, I don't... Okay. Alrighty then, I'll tell you. I am Mr. Explains It All. First are or oracles. They have the power to predict, foretelling helpful or harmful phenomena that will happen to themselves or those around them. Earthquakes, tsunami, illness... All of these can be predicted and be made to befall enemies. But be careful, sometimes they'll affect the Oracle himself. As for the necessary conditions to spark each phenomenon, well, that's something you'll just have to find out for yourself. Predictions come in three ranks. Higher ranks take longer to come true, but have much more drastic effects. It's like they say, good things come to those who wait, right? Anyway, after a little practice and maybe a little luck, effectively using predict will be a breeze. Next, we've got gladiators. Gladiators fight like they were born with a blade in their hands. Between their blade blitz technique and their finishers, they've got the power to take down almost any foe. Last but not least, the cannoneers. These explosives experts can use their ability to combine to always get the most bang for their buck. Combine lets cannoneers put together ammunition with various other items to cause different effects. There are three types of ammo, buckshot, blast shot, and blitz shot. Try combining different ammo with different items and see what happens. Actually, I'd lo love to help you guys get started by selling you some ammo right now, but I'm all sold out. How about this? I'll go talk to my supplier, and then uh, I'll be more than happy to help you with all your ammunition needs. I'm always on the go, so look for me when you're in towns or castles. I'm usually lurking around in the equipment shops. Gotta keep tabs on the competition. I hope this is the beginning of a beautiful and profitable relationship. See you around! Thanks, random guy who just happens to show up here. There's a switch on the wall. Will you press it? Sure. Doesn't seem to be working. It won't open. It's been sealed by mysterious power. It is pitch black inside. You cannot enter. Aw, oh, come on. I've got swords that, that probably glow, right? Right? Alright, so we've got some new uh, uh, classes. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. I believe they'll show up down at the bottom. Uh, Oracle. 
I don't know if that's a reference to anything in particular. Soothsayers who can predict natural disasters and direct them at foes. Cannoneer, that is a very um, French military outfit. outfit. Tinkers with the know-how to combine items into weapons, both beautiful and destructive. And gladiators, skilled warriors who can master any blade. And they can basically use any, you know, physical attacking weapon. Well, other than the uh, Asian ones. Not sure if that's a reference to anything either. Uh, so this is Ald in his various outfits. I like that outfit, the cannoneer for Ald. It's pretty cool. And, uh, I do like the Oracle outfit, too. I like Lena's Cannoneer outfit as well. What the hell is that? Uh, Kryle's Cannoneer outfit is pretty cute as well. Ah, don't dig the, uh, the Oracle. Kind of miss that, that Ferris has no hat as a uh, Cannoneer. It's kind of sad. Anyway, so these are some of the new classes that are in uh, the Game Boy Advance version of this game. They're not fantastic, if I remember correctly, but they could be pretty cool, pretty fun to play with. Um, so I will definitely play with them, around, play around with them a bit. Uh, but I'll be mastering the current, at least Ranger with Ferris before I, I change anyone over. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and head to Crescent, just because. And when we come back next time, we've got some other side questy type stuff to do, uh, which we will do later if I can get onto. Now, oh, fine, I'll just land right there. Um, but that will be in the next episode. See you then, everyone.